Today, I will be discussing the case of DeGarris v. Neville Jeffress in relation to the fair dealing provisions under the Copyright Act of 1968. Fair dealing outlines the circumstances where material that has previously been copyrighted can be used without permission of the author. The respondent, Neville Jeffress, owned a press clipping service that monitored newspapers. Subscribers received a photocopy of the material together with a statement of source in exchange for a fee. The applicant, Brian de Garris and Matthew Moore, were authors for the Western Australian and the Sydney Morning Herald. De Garris alleged that he was the author and owner of the literary work Looking Past the Winners, published in 1988. He claimed Jeffers had infringed his copyright by reproducing the work in Australia. Jeffers relied upon the fair dealing exceptions of research or study under section 40, criticism or review under section 41, and reporting of the news under section 42, subsection 1. The main issue for the court to decide was whether the fair dealing provisions were applicable. In order for the provisions to apply in these circumstances, the dealing has to be 1. for the relevant purpose, and 2. fair. Here, the relevant purpose refers to the person, not the resulting reproduction. Firstly, was the reproduction of the material for the purpose of research or study? Justice Beaumont cited the definition of study as application of the mind to the acquisition of knowledge as by reading, investigation or reflection. The court held that the reproduction was not intended for research or study, but rather a commercial use. It was considered irrelevant if the material was later used for research or study. Secondly, was the reproduction for criticism or review? Using the definition of criticism as the act or art of analysing and judging the quality of a literary work, the court once again held there was no criticism or review. Jeffress had reproduced the document in its original form without any additional commentary or analysis. And lastly, was the reproduction for the reporting of the news? The commercial nature of Jeffress's business allowed the court to disallow this provision. Additionally, the material was not republished in any manner, rather just supplied to the customer for leisurely use. On the issue of fairness, Justice Beaumont cited that 1. it was a question of degree, and 2. there were various factors that needed to be evaluated, such as the general impression of the situation, the extent to which the materials were used, and the number of newspaper clippings. Justice Beaumont held that the dealing was not fair. Jeffress had used the material in trade and commerce, not under any of the provisions of the fair dealings of the Copyright Act. Therefore, Jeffress had infringed DeGarris's and Moore's work. This case was important at the time as it clearly defined when the defences to infringement could be applicable. In conclusion, the main points to take from this case are 1. The fair dealing provisions were not applicable 2. The use and reproduction of the applicant's work was deemed unfair and 3. Jeffress had infringed the Copyright Act of 1968 in using DeGarris's and Moore's literature. Thank you very much for watching.